Wyatt Triggles, what's happening? So, this video is going to be a little bit different today. Unfortunately, I've got no wrestle shows to talk about or show you. The reason behind this was we was due to go to a WrestleFall show on Saturday. And this was in Hemel Hempstead. Now, I'm gutted about this because it's only 30 minutes from me. So, it's quite a local show, actually. The reason why it got cancelled was to do with some licensing stuff regarding the insurance, I'm guessing. Nevertheless, WrestleFalls have assured me that there will be a show happening in Hemel Hempstead at a later date. I'm not too sure when it is yet, but I'm sure it will be happening. So I was a little bit bored. I didn't know what to do with myself. And I had me 11-year-old nephew with me. So we was looking forward to going to the show, as well as a couple of other guys. You know, we was a little bit disappointed it got cancelled. Unfortunately, one of those things. So I've got to babysit my nephew, and I'm thinking, right, what do I do now? Okay, he's into football, but he's not a massive fan of football, right? So I'm thinking, he's never been to a football game in his life. I'm going to take him to his first ever football game, right? So I looked at some of the local teams. I looked at Harlow Town. Unfortunately, they were away. I looked at Waltham Abbey, and I thought, do you know what? Waltham Abbey ain't that far from me. So I thought, I'm going to take him there. But then I looked at the table, and I thought, I don't really want to take my nephew to his very first football match. And he's going to hate it and never want to go again. Because I looked at the table, and no offence to Wolfram Abbey, but they're sitting third from bottom, and they were playing AFC Hornchurch. So Hornchurch is sitting fifth in the table. And I didn't, again, I don't want to be like a glory hunter here, because obviously you, you need to learn how to lose to appreciate the wins. Of course, I understand that, right? So I thought, maybe that's not the best game to go to, being his first ever game. I'll try somewhere else. So I tried Barnet. See, now I used to follow Barnet a lot during the late 90s, early 2000s. Now, I'm a season ticket holder for Arsenal. So, obviously, when Arsenal was playing at home, I'd obviously go to see Arsenal. But if Arsenal was away that weekend and Barnet was at home, me and my old man used to pop along to Barnet. So, we got Barnet basically as a little second club. And since, like I say, the late 90s, around 97, 98, we've been following them ever since. So now I thought I'd be clever here and kill two birds with one stone because I thought, what better excuse than ever? He's never been to a football game before in his life. I haven't actually been to the Hive yet. I know, it's mental. I used to go to Underhill every other week, yet I've not been to the Hive. Now, I love Underhill, and I miss that place. I really do. I was actually very impressed with the Hive, if being honest with you. A little bit of a bastard to get to, but still, it was a great day out. So I haven't even told him where we were going, right? And he's thinking I'm taking him to Harry Potter World for some unknown fucking reason. Why would I take him to Harry Potter World? I've seen all the films... But I wouldn't take you to Harry Potter World. Simple as that. So we're in the car, we're driving, and he's asking me, Matt, where are we going? Where are we going? Matt, where are we going? Look, you've always wanted to go. It's going to be a surprise. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy it. All right, after that, five minutes of asking me. He's on his phone for the whole journey, isn't he? Technology and kids nowadays, eh? I guess it beats the old, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Like I used to do with my old man. So anyway, we pull up outside the barn, and he's like, are we going to a football match? Yes, we are. Oh, okay, cool. I think he was a little bit disappointed at first, but in the end, he absolutely loved it. So we've pulled up, we've parked up, gone into the little clubhouse as well. I said, is there anything you want, mate? He's having a look around. Mm, no, not really. Why, well, go on, I'll get it for you. What do you want? Top, hat, scarf, what do you want? No, because they might lose and I might never want to come again. So after embarrassing me like that, I kicked his ass out of the clubhouse and I was like, mate, mate, really? Really? But anyway, I can understand where he's coming from, you know. You don't want to go to a football game and lose. Who goes to a football game and wants to lose? No one. So, like I said, I wasn't going to take him to Wolfram Abbey because I thought, I'm not taking him to his first ever game, and then they get bopped. Now, this was Barnet v Oxford United. Now, Oxford United are second in the league, so they're chasing promotion, aren't they? Now, Northampton are just in front of them, and I think they're going to win the league, looking at the points, Hallie. So, this was always going to be a hard game. But I thought, do you know what? Barnet, they can always pull a rabbit out of the hat now and again. So, I thought... Who, even if they come away with a draw, you know, they might enjoy it. Unfortunately, Barnet got bopped, 3-0, and Wolfram Abbey won. Guess I dropped a bollock on that one, eh? So I did manage to get him a top in the end, and I got him a scarf. I'll throw the photo in there for you, because I thought, this is his first ever game. Despite the result, despite he never ever goes again, despite if he never wears the top again, you always remember your first match, no matter who it was against, where it was, what the scoreline was, or even the fucking weather. You always remember your first match. So we were sitting front row, and I thought there was fantastic seats for the view and everything. And under-14s are only a fiver as well, which I think is a bargain as well. So well done there, Barnet, or if it's League 2 in all. So I'm trying to educate him on some past legends who used to play for the club. Over the years when I used to go watch Barnet play, the likes of Mark Armour, Greg Held, Ben Streven, Wayne Purser, Junior Agogo, 
Giuliano Grazioli, Lee Harrison, you know, they're like all of them basically, you know. And I told him obviously about Giuliano Grazioli quite a lot. And he's got a bar there, or one of the, the stands where we was in the West Stand, the bit at the back there, we can go get a drink and everything. That is actually called Grazioli's. So as you can guess, there's loads of memorabilia on the wall of regarding Giuliano Grazioli, which I'm trying to educate him and tell him how good of a player he was for Barnet and let him know what he missed out on, basically. This was hard work. This really was, because it's not only his very first football game. I'm trying to tell him about someone, and obviously he knows of some football players who are in the Premiership and around the world as well. But trying to tell him about your local team and some of the players... It was just very difficult, but still, like I said, we sat in the front row, and we was where all the noise was being made, and he loved it. He got in with the charts and everything, you know, be army, come on, Barnet, and I was a little bit sceptical at first, because I was like, is he or is he going to enjoy this, and he loved it, and I was so chuffed that he did. Even though Barnet lost 3-0, and Oxford, you know, they, they, they're going for a promotion, he wants to go again, which is fantastic, and they're playing Luton on Easter Monday, so hopefully... If he can go, I'll be more than happy to take him. So, Barnet, you've got yourself another little fan there, mate. So, hey, next time, let's give him a shout-out. But a little rundown of how the game went. Now, I thought Barnet were the better team in the first half, possession-wise. Oxford had a few killer chances where the keeper actually kept us in it. And to be honest with you, if it wasn't for the keeper, it would have been about 7-8-0. As simple as that. It, he, would, he got man of the match for Barnet on my side. So Barnet managed to go in 0-0 at half-time. I don't know what happened in the second half. It was a case of Barnet just rolled over and died because Oxford, they got an early-ish goal about 10 minutes into the second half. And it seemed like Barnet's heads dropped. And that was it. The second goal, I don't know what went on there, lads. The defending was absolutely shocking. Two of their players with one of ours... Come on, that's schoolboy era stuff. We need to sort this out. I mean, I love Martin Allen. I think he is the right man for the club, for everything he has done for us. But hopefully, you know, we can brush this one off and move on. Again, yes, they are a better team in the league because they are going for promotion. Hopefully, we can pick ourselves up against Luton. But we've got... We're away to Exeter on Good Friday. That's going to be a long journey there. Hopefully the boys can come away with a result, even if it is a point, just to help us move into the Monday game, which will be on Easter Monday. Hopefully I'll be there, and hopefully we can pick up the three points. And if Luke can come, he gets his very first win under his belt as well. So that's all I've got to say at the moment on this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, because we definitely enjoyed being at Barnet. My nephew loved it. Hopefully we can go very, very soon. Hopefully I'll bring you more wrestle shows very soon. Unfortunately, it was just cancelled, like I said, at the weekend. I have been invited to a few over next weekend. I'll try and get to as many as I possibly can. And I'll give you some feedback. I'll give you some videos as well. So until then, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I will see you later.